Uh, there are two aspects actually. When you say that government, it is the responsibility of the government is to provide free education. Now the uh, the second part is compulsory. The compulsory it is the responsibility of the parents to send their children to the schools. So uh, it is the responsibility of the parents to uh, provide compulsory education to the children. At the same time, the responsibility of the government is to provide free education. So free and compulsory both are you know like uh, uh, go, both will go together and unless and until uh, both both the parties the government and the parents they, they do not fulfill their uh, fulfill their responsibility i don't think it is uh, 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 possible for even for the government to provide free education to the children uh, see the duties are uh, well defined but then uh, uh, we can say i don't know means uh, whether it will be implemented as it has been defined in the act actually uh, there are many aspects means like uh, from the beginning uh, from the Admission of a child means like uh, you have to uh, 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 first see the whether how many children are there, how many children are educated, uh, how many children are staying in the slum areas and uh, th that has to be seen first. It is the responsibility of the government to see that how many children are not getting proper education, proper food or uh, proper facilities. So those children to be admitted to the school that is the first responsibility of the government. And the second responsibility of the government is although the ch there are children who are maybe from the weaker sections or who are maybe from the uh, physically handicapped or maybe from a uh, disadvantaged group. So there are different groups of children, different groups of parents and uh, they cannot afford to pay. And uh, uh, there is some apprehension about uh, this particular education because many children are working. Many small children are looking after their uh, siblings also. Uh, it is happening in India, it's like uh, suppose there, there are two children, one is going to the school and another is at home just to look after that particular child. So this is happening. So I think uh, to identify the children uh, uh, from the society, those who are really uh, uh, could, could be sent for the schools or uh, uh, to provide education to them. I think this is the responsibility of the government to implement this act in proper way. It is the responsibility of the society also, of the teachers also and uh, government officials also.